I'm here with Diana Thompson. I want to thank you again, Diana, for coming all the way across the country to share your incredible knowledge uh, about everything, but certainly about soap charting this weekend with chapter members. I'd like to take this opportunity, though, to ask you to share a little bit about the exciting research conference sponsored by the Massage Therapy Foundation that will be here uh, in the spring. So if you could just give us Great. a little rundown, the dates and some details for our members to get involved. I'd be happy to. I first want to say thank you to the Massachusetts chapter for being such big supporters of the Massage Therapy Foundation because we really picked Boston as our location so that we can take advantage of the support that we can get from a chapter like you. So thanks for being on the ground support for our research conference. It's the Foundation's third research conference. And this one, we're uh, focusing on three different components of research that we haven't focused on yet before. The first day is all about mechanisms of research. So what's happening underneath the skin? Why does massage work? It's all about the why. Mm -hmm. um, so we have people talking about the immune system and lymphatic drainage and various aspects of uh, research and how massage actually makes changes inside the body. Our day two is about public health. So how do our community service projects create information that can then inform public health projects around the world? Um, so we've got some really fascinating community service project leaders um, that are speaking on that morning's panel. And our day three is about the research agenda. So researchers really look to what does the profession need to know about um, their different aspects of massage therapy in particular that might help uh, inform our practice. So we're really looking for a research agenda that asks the kinds of questions that help us make better decisions in the clinic, rather than having them come up with research that doesn't really help us. Oh, so amazing. So, so we get an opportunity to set the research agenda for the next 10 years. Yep. Nice. That'd be great. We're really going from sort of a microcosm all the way to the, the macrocosm. So that's yes. April 25th, 26th, and 27th? That's correct. Here we'll start Boston. on the evening of the 24th. We'll show some video clips from the Fascia Research Congress, and then the research conference will start on Thursday morning. Great. And how can people go to register, learn about more online? Let's you know get people registered and get yeah. in there. It might sell out. They could go to the Massage Therapy Foundation website. You'll see a little picture of a Boston icon. You can just click on that, and it'll take you right to the registration page. So you can buy a three-day registration packet, or you can come individually each day. So if you just can make it to one day, please come anyway. So. Perfect. And I think there's also a link on the Mass AMTA website, oh, good. as well as I think at every e-blast. We're working real hard to promote it as well. Can't thank wait you. to see you there, and so exciting. Thank you so much for all you do for our profession, Diana. Yes, and thank you for all you do for us. Yes.